when we talk about the Messenger Muhammad وسلم, and the people around him, we hear a great deal about the male companions. But there are certainly great and amazing women in Islam throughout history. In today's episode of Featured 5, we look at five women in Islam worthy of our attention. First on our list of amazing women in Islam is Maryam bint Imran, may Allah be pleased with her. The greatest woman in all of history, established in the Quran, and mentioned when the angels said, O Mary, indeed Allah has chosen you and purified you and chosen you above the women of the worlds. Virgin Mary spent her life in worship. She is the mother of Jesus alayhi salam, miraculously giving birth to him whilst unmarried and chaste. Accused of adultery amongst her people, Allah exonerated her when the Prophet Jesus السلام, spoke in the cradle to defend his mother. Such was her status with Allah and in Islam. She is the only woman to have a chapter of the Quran named after her. Chapter 19, Surah Maryam. 2. Khadija bint Khuwaylid, may Allah be pleased with her. Khadija was a wealthy and prosperous businesswoman of Mecca. Intelligent and wise, she proposed and married the Messenger of Allah وسلم, after hearing of his honesty and upright character. She was his first wife and was commonly regarded as the mother of the believers. Khadija was very supportive of the Messenger of Allah when his peers criticized and mocked him in the early days of Islam. She was right by his side up until she passed away in the 10th year after the revelation, later to be known as the Year of Sorrow. She was guaranteed paradise when the angel Jibreel said to the Messenger, Khadija is coming to you with a vessel of seasoned food and drink. When she comes to you, offer her greetings from Allah and on my behalf and give her glad tidings of a palace of jewels in paradise wherein there is no noise and no toil. The Prophet's lineage is carried on to this day through Khadija's marriage and their daughter Fatima bint Muhammad. 3. Fatima bint Muhammad, may Allah be pleased with her. Fatima is the daughter of the messenger from his first wife Khadija. She was known to be the biggest supporter of her father and a great role model of piety and humility. Aisha, the beloved wife of the Messenger of Allah, once said, I have not seen anyone who more resembled the Messenger of Allah in words, speech, or manner of sitting than Fatima. When Fatima would visit her father, he stood up for her, greeted her, kissed her, took her hand, and brought her forward and made her sit in his place. At number four on our list is the wife of Pharaoh, Asiya bint Muzahim. May Allah be pleased with her. She and along with the previous three are the four greatest women in history. In a famous narration, Anas bin Malik reported that the Messenger of Allah said, Sufficient for you amongst the women of mankind are Maryam bint Imran, Khadija bint Khwalid, Fatima bint Muhammad, and Asiya, the wife of Pharaoh. Though she had the luxuries of life in her hands, she remained firm in her belief in Allah, rejecting her husband's claim of deity and consequently suffering oppression at his hands. Allah says in the Quran, and Allah presents an example of those who believed the wife of Pharaoh. When she said, My Lord, build me near you, a house in paradise, and save me from Pharaoh and his deeds, and save me from the wrongdoing people. Asya was also the one who saved and raised the Prophet Moses, taking him under her care when his biological mother placed him in a box and put him in the river out of fear of Pharaoh's men who wanted to kill him. Last on our list is Aisha bint Abu Bakr. May Allah be pleased with her. Aisha was the wife and the most beloved person to the Messenger of Allah. When he was asked, O Messenger of Allah, who is the most beloved of the people to you? He said, Aisha. He was asked, from the men? He said, her father. She was a scholar amongst the companions, having a great memory, as well as a critical understanding of Islamic jurisprudence. She narrated some 2,200 ahadith, fourth on the list of hadith narrators, only behind Anas ibn Malik, Abdullah ibn Umar, and Abu Huraira. May Allah be pleased with them all. The Messenger of Allah was in her lap when he took his final breath and parted this world. So what do you think? Don't forget to leave your comments below and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.